Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 39 of Star Trek Pretty Curious. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Now, I did not know that this show was on, like, I mean, a little break last week. Last Sunday, I was literally looking around to the ends of the earth, looking through this episode. <laughs> Well, yeah, two out of the five would be great. Hold on. I I is he kind of literally wearing her outfit from the movie? In a way, she is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we only really need three more. We need Elena, Madoka, and Lala. Yeah. Yeah? Elena, Madoka, and Lala? Because... Lala didn't get hers yet. Only really Hikaru and my best girl. <laughs> You know, it still sucks that we gotta, well, not wait. Me. I gotta wait until next year to see this movie, but you know what? That's okay. Am I gonna have time to re react to it? I don't really know as of now. I ain't really gonna know until probably by the time it comes out. And it's Elena, right? I mean, y'all keep saying one, but it's two. He kind of got hurt. Oh, well, finally, where the heck have you been for several episodes, really? Is she basically going to transform into a human being for an episode? Hmm. 
Uh. You're like, hmm, where have I heard that before, right? <laughs> uh huh. Oh, Lena, you just don't know. You you've fallen in love with the wrong person, babe. Well, because she doesn't think you're a bad guy, though. Hmm. I mean, she's being smart about this, you know. It's an easy way to corner each girl on their own and destroy them when they're defenseless. I'm just saying, I mean, you know, her. I think officially she has like the most biggest family out of like any character from Pretty Hair. Well, you wouldn't think Puff would be like, right? Oh, wait, is that Puff? No, there she is. And see, I keep saying Puff because of the subtitles now. Pua! But what about Fua? Where? You just need a longer one. And of course, she's going to say that she hates it, right?
Hmm. See now, is it weird that I feel like this is going on a race issue? Don't do that. Keep your other... She's literally about to have Elena go into, like, the deepest despair. And I don't like it. See, everybody else is showing color. She's showing black and white. So sad. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. They're all different. <laughs> so cute. So cute. I love her. I was about to clap, but I didn't know it was going to be done yet. <laughs> oh. How did you get up here so quickly? That's not true, not to everyone. It's more personality and making a good first impression. Go after her.
Okay. And there's your teacher. No, your principal, yeah. Out of all the people. That's why the principal was gone for really half of the episode. Um, okay. Let me just say something real quick. Elena is the main focus of this episode. Shouldn't Elena be in the middle? You did it before once. Why ain't you doing it again? Something about that ain't right. You know, my best girl was the center of attention two weeks ago. And y'all did that. <laughs> but with this episode with Elena, like, oh God, I got some things to say. I'm, I'm going to wait until the end of the episode to say what I got to say. Because I love Elena a lot. And, uh, I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait until I'm done. Because if I say it now, it's just, oh, I can't, I can't say it now. I know some people may be pissed about what I'm going to say, but it's not me being teeny tiny bit angry, but it's my opinion on it and how I personally feel how total animation is doing Elena's character. Really, not even only Elena. I, I really say everybody except one. <laughs> and we'll get to that at the end of the episode. I want to thank you for so bad. My Anya. You see everybody except for Lena. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This has got to be the episode where she's going to get her single imagination. It would make no sense to have her be built up in this episode and not to get her single imagination. I I swear to God, if they don't do it. <laughs> because of her past. Yeah, y'all seriously did that. Y'all seriously did not give... Okay. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of issues to talk about that at the end of this episode. Oh, I, I really... Mm, I'm going to wait.
It's okay. Oh. oh, God, this just got worse. Oh, why would you do this to me? I wasn't ready for that ending. Like, nope, nope. Mm -mm. Okay, so this was, this was an okay episode. Not the best. It, it's still good. But seriously, not the the best episode for Star Trek Over Here as of right now. For Elena, I mean, it was still okay. And I really enjoyed it a lot. It, it, there's a little bit of problems, and I am going to talk about that in a few minutes. But it is sad that, yes, someone who is brand spanking new, who comes, even though, yes, she's a villain, but it's a brand new character in a way, and you would trust that person to find out that they just deceive you in the end and everything, and it happens. It happens to everyone, and you never really know who you can ultimately trust. And sometimes in the end, you can only really trust the people who are the closest to you or just really yourself at the end of the day. But, I mean, I'm glad she won. We, we just know because, like, Elena is, like, freaking amazing as a character. And I love her so much. Like, literally as much as Yuni. Because, I mean, originally, like, both Madoka and Elena were my other two best girls way before Yuni came in. I mean, yeah, it, it was good. I enjoyed it a lot. A little bit of nitpicks here and there. Um, learning about What's Your Face's backstory was very interesting, and I hope we get a little more things, questions answered, you know, because we're almost done with this show. <laughs> yeah, can't transfer in front of your parents and friends. It, it was bound to happen, though. We all know that. And there's going to be a really sad moment. Okay. Let me say this. And this is just coming from the heart. This is not me being mean. This is not me um, hating on Toll Animation. But we're 39 episodes into this show. Officially as of next week being into 40 episodes. And there have been times where they've done Elena beautifully. It makes me proud, like... To make someone who is, and I know a lot of people are going to say this, like, a, a person of color character. Because they've never essentially really done this before where they've had someone of a different, um, I'm about to say religion, wrong word, um, culture and skin color into the show. Because typically we always see the same girls in the village, relatively, usually between the last year. The last year has something exotic about them. And with this show, you have... I want to say one, two, but maybe three or four girls who are very exotic and, you know, their backstories are good. But, like, because Alina is one of them. She has an amazing backstory, but the, I feel like the way Toll is portraying the character and the backstory about her, they're kind of, like, half-assing it in a way. And we're almost done with this show. And I feel like going into the next one, the Feeling Good Pretty Care, which starts... February, I believe, typically because like Star Twinkle every other video ends in January and the new one starts in February. I feel like not as many people are going to really remember her and stuff. Like they're going to remember her, but they're going to remember like this, this, that, and the third, the things that they didn't do right with this character. And so what I hope that they do with Feeling Good or whatever type of pretty care we go on into the next five, ten years still with myself watching the show and doing reactions on this, if they ever decide to do a black girl, a, um, you can't even say Hispanic, because she is Hispanic, um, a Muslim girl, any other type of girl who does not look like these other girls, and who still has a little bit of Japanese inside of her, I hope that they kind of do her justice, because this is, like, Elena, she's the prototype. She is the little, she's the test subject for all, this whole entire series to see how people really enjoy her. And by the time, because maybe even as of right now, total animation could be done overall. Well, well, yeah, I think they are. Because, like, as of October, they showed um, 
the uh, the logo got leaked. So, uh, you know, animation and everything, quality and stuff, they're done with this show. And they're going to see how, from episode 40 to the end, but I feel like towards the beginning of the show, when the show was airing at the beginning of the year, they were literally looking at who all talked about Elena and this and everything. Because Elena, as I said, she is a text pro test, test, test product. She is literally going to possibly make way for any other person of color of a pretty cure possibly being happened. There might be a freaking black girl, you never know when it's going to happen, who could be the pink cure, the freaking um, blue cure, or even the purple cure, any type of other freaking color, it's going to possibly happen one day. And it's going to be because she started it, because of the fact is that they created this character. And yes, even though they are half-assing it, they're doing a, uh, just like this, they're flip-flopping. There are days where I feel like they do a really good job on, on Elena and how they've done her character. And then there are some days where I've sat and watched an episode where it's somberly focused on her. And I'm like, I feel like I didn't know that much about her. And I feel like she, like, as of right now, I don't want to say she's one-dimensional. I want to say maybe, like, there are moments where they make her feel like she's a one-dimensional character and she doesn't get anything. And I feel like the one who's going to get the least amount of thing is between her and Madoka. Because her and Madoka do not, and I'm going to say this really, really bad, I'm going to say this probably twice, they don't get that much development. Not even, like, the, what was the last episode that Elena and Madoka had, like, development together? And that was, like, several episodes ago. But separately, especially, like, with Madoka and her, um... And her dad. I still love the fact with Elena and her family and learning about their culture and everything. And I wish it was in the show a little bit more because I think a lot of people like to learn different cultures uh, about people in general because that's what we, you know, a lot of people enjoy. So I just hope that, you know, relatively in the future, maybe a year from now, five years from now, ten years from now, that if they ever want to do another, you know, Hispanic girl, black girl, um... Egyptian girl, whatever, that they do that character right. Because, like I said, Madoka, I mean, not Madoka, Elena is that test subject. And once people, I think once they, like, literally look to see how everything's gone and how people have talked about her and what they did right with her and what they did wrong with her, I think that's when they're going to say, okay, whenever we make this series or in any other series, let's put it in another person of color and let's try to try again with it. Let's make this one a little bit better than... Elena, I'm just saying. But I still love her as a character. I still think they do a really good job on her. It's just there's some times where it's like, you're half-assing. I know. And you know. And there's probably a bunch of other people who are fans of this show who also know. But, I mean, okay. So, since next week's episode is on Lala, I think it's going to be really good. Because, I mean, like, everyone has moments of development and I think it's just gonna be really good for her I think it's gonna be a really sad moment still a little pissed that Elena didn't get her twinkle imagination so I'll say maybe 40 41 or 42 because literally this could be another moment where like Lala is gonna get hers and then we're probably gonna go to Elena or back to my um no, we're going to go to Amatica and then back to Elena eventually. I, I really don't know, but, like, that's my little rant slash reaction <laughs> and review towards episode 39 of Star Trek Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day for the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys either next Saturday, Sunday, or Monday for episode 40. Bye, guys. Thank you.